My name is Teresa Lockwood. I reside in Violet, New Jersey. And I'm going to just talk uh, a little more on um, mercy, law, and um, the Ten Commandments. I'm being, I, I, I have these churches continuously condemning me as a Pharisee for keeping the Ten Commandments. Uh, yeah, sorry. But Jesus actually spoke against the Pharisees for not keeping the law and the commandments of God. Okay? So, I've been <laughs> working all night long since yesterday. And, um, I just want to let you know, my, these are my persecutors. The Violent New Jersey Police Department, Cult, Raymond Church, uh... A Calvary Chapel, um, who's actually copying me, um, teaching the law, uh, to cover up him, condemning the law, uh, who basically claimed he's allowed to bear false witness against me. So now he's teaching the law, and now he's basically still bearing false witness against me. Yes, I do keep the Ten Commandments. No, I do not be, um, bear false witness against people. Um, not even my enemies. You know why? Because that is what it is to love your enemies. See, the thing is, there's a lot of these false Christians that going around. They're anti-theist atheists, by the way, pretending they're Christian. Denying the laws of God. And claiming that, you know, they, they're perverting our scriptures. In that of, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, claiming how they're justified. They're even using a lot of verses that I wrote and perverting them um, to conform it and fit their sins, such as a uh, verse where it says um, uh, God justifies the ungodly. That's only in repentance, okay, that seek righteousness, okay? And so mercy is bestowed to them. The thing is, is that I am threatened and intimidated by these people. Criminally threatened and intimidated by these people. Uh, Frank Apolito, Raymond Church, the uh, fraudulent, or those who falsely call themselves Pentecostals, um, who are violent police officers, who are perverting our Bible to justify their crimes, by the way, that they have been committing against me for about 20 years. Okay, so they've been committing hate crimes against me because I am Christian, and they're a lot of them, well, claiming, falsely claiming Jesus. The thing is, is that they claim, oh, um, I'm basically, by the actions and crimes and sins they're committing against me, and their continued abuse, which they claimed is the punishment of God. First of all, you're not God. Second of all, God's not sinning against me. Next, um, I'm not be, I'm guiltless. <laughs> yeah, I am going to say that. So, um, yes, I make mistakes. No, I'm not perfect without fault. Um, and God, and as you're condemning me as a Pharisee for keeping the Ten Commandments, okay? Uh, and yes, I have made mistakes. I've made errors or what have you. And I simply, you know, in my, uh, um, godly spirit correct any mistake that I make. So they basically claim that me speaking against their evil, their crimes, is a crime. It's a sin. This is what they are saying. So they have basically continuously for years uh, falsely accused me um, of crimes they were committing against me. So, and because they are getting away with their crimes, they're claiming because God has mercy on them. And I'm being abused and tortured and all these things, horrible, heinous crimes, uh, torturous, tra traumatic abuses that they're doing to me. They are claiming that it's because I'm out of God's grace and mercy. Of course, that is a lie straight from the pits of hell. Okay? So, they are demonic and evil. So, the thing is, they pervert mercy. Um, they basically, um, um, claim that they are justified because they believe in Jesus Christ. If they believed in Jesus Christ, they wouldn't be persecuting me like they are. I'm not persecuting them because I am a true believer in Jesus Christ. I'm not sinning against them. Speaking against their evil and their crimes... Um, and persecution is not sinning. Now, the thing is, they want to sit there and justify and, and jump right to the, the, the story of the scene of the cross and crucifixion of Jesus and sit there and say, Jesus said, forgive them for they know not what they do. No, when they were persecuting Jesus, 
and falsely accusing him, Jesus corrected them and rebuked them for their sins. Okay? Who? The Pharisees like you. The oppressors. They claim that me speaking against their evil is not a blessing. That if, oh, I, and said if I'm being persecuted, I am to bless them. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm blessing with you with truth. Well, actually, I'm not sorry that I'm blessing the truth. But I am blessing you with truth. And blessing only comes by truth. So you accept it or you, and you repent. Or you remain not under God's grace as you falsely claim you are. You're not under God's grace because you're, you're justifying your own evils. Unjustly justifying your own evils and getting away with crime. You are exposed as being a non-believer. A wicked person. A wicked generation. And the generations before you. So... Claiming I don't have love because I'm speaking against their crime. I'm sorry. There are no lies in love. And there, you are full of lies. And I am speaking truth. Which there is only truth in love. Love is truth and truth is love. So, um, they're a spoiled brat generation. Who expresses, these churches continuously expresses... That anybody who speaks against them, against their evils, is not love as they claim an unconditional love. The unconditional love is uh, an illusion created by them to make them, to make them appear falsely that they have love to ignore um, people speaking against the abuse they're doing to you or other people. So, um, love is in truth. I speak love. I have not witnessed or experienced any love from coming from any of you. You are evil and you are monsters. You can sit there and say, are you name calling? Or you're, are you, are, you know, and that's not Christian. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, Jesus called you, uh, children of Satan, by the way. Um, so the thing is, is, um, Look, when they condemn the Ten Commandments, they have made up all kinds of lies about it. They have perverted scripture and basically claim that um, uh, that God abolished the, 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 the Ten Commandments and the law or what have you. And they're justified by anything they do. They are not. Um, that's those who keep the Ten Commandments. So, um, I've been working and actually posting this. Um... All night. Okay, this was actually 21 hours ago. Oh, oh, I don't have. I have it on lock, so I'm gonna unlock that. Okay, I was gonna record this real quick. Now let me reset it to um, size. Make it smaller, I guess. Okay. Um, let me put that a little bit bigger. Okay, so I'm gonna record this. All right. This is 21 hours ago. I just made this. and um, Yes, I, I volunteer my services and I work for people. Uh, this is what I do, you know. And uh, I take very careful time to um, make what I do uh, as best as I can. So um, my physical vision is not that great. My spiritual vision is very keen, okay? So... Um, the thing is, is, um, let me just record this real quick. Because they're making up all these excuses how uh, they want to sit there and continue to commit their crimes. And claim, you know, that mercy and grace is, you know, uh, not of the Ten Commandments. And, you know, they're like, oh, well, you know, Jesus died on the cross because we can't perfectly um, keep the Ten Commandments and all these. They just made all these things up. They don't even know what it is. They just want to justify and get away with their crimes. That's it. So they sit there and claim that's their uh, faith. Some claiming religion. Some sitting there falsely claiming the sin of the Pharisees is religion, which is a bold-faced lie. Using forged false Bibles that were designed to persecute 
the Christian religion, which is anything that is true, another knowledge of God. There's only one religion, okay? So, yes, it is true that there are false, false religions that are not religion that claim that they are the echo of a perversion of Christianity. The thing is, Christianity is not bound by ownership to people. Okay, there's no such thing as Christianity as conversion to a person or a group. That's not what conversion is. Conversion is the, the change of your very own soul from a wrong way to the righteousness of God. Okay, that's Christian conversion. All right? So, the thing is, is that um, a religion isn't everyone, by the way. So, right, yeah, the simplicity of revelation from heaven that basically just uh, goes against, well, all your false um, beliefs all across the country and all across the different sects of well, who falsely claim to be religion or falsely claim to be of faith or cult groups, you know, whatever. So, the thing is, the second commandment and the completeness of the Ten Commandments is mercy. The reason why there is mercy in there because God already knows that people are not going to keep the, the Ten Commandments perfectly. Okay? So, it is perfecting what is perfection in the law of the Ten Commandments? That is to be perfected in people with mercy. Now, see, the people claiming I don't have mercy because I'm speaking against their evil. Mercy does not justify your wickedness that basically destroys life. You're claiming mercy so you can commit evils that destroys life. You are the oppressor. You're not the one of mercy. You are not the one of ju justice or faith. So. If you cannot. Sit there and go a day without lying. Slandering scapegoating your victim like you are doing to me. This is divine New Jersey Police Department. By the way the fraudulent cult members. Who falsely call themselves Pentecostal. You're not Christian. You're not believers in God. You're believers in your sin. You're believers in your lawlessness. You're believers in your crimes. Claiming Jesus. You're creating a false version of Jesus, which is only atheism that you slap, uh, anti, -theist, anti theist atheism that you're slapping uh, Jesus on. So, um,. I'm just going to go to my other page. And this is a ver passage I've used for many years. Um, against the churches, by the way, and the police department, who has persecuted me for years. And um, those who justify the wicked and those who condemn the just, both of them alike, are an abomination to the Lord. So... And they're stealing my words, by the way, because I basically, um, they were condemning me for criticizing. So, uh, yeah, criticize like Jesus. And now they're flipping it backwards and copying my words and claiming them trying to condemn me for speaking the word of God. Um, they're calling their condemnation criticizing. Okay. So, um, I haven't condemned anybody. I can't condemn anyone. Uh, when you sit there and destroy my life and my family and my children, that's condemnation. When you're burying me under your lies and you're persecuting me and you're, in your, and you're sitting there assaulting me and um, mocking um, me being abused or whatever, claiming it's the punishment of God by the evils you're doing. I don't ever blame. I've never blamed God at all for any evils that any of you have done. I, just like I don't blame other people for what you have done. Like you've been lying and falsely accused when I've only spoken against you and what you have done. And using the comparison, equal comparison, to the monstrosities throughout my life in which you are equivalently cookie cutter 
just like the same evils, just because you may not do that act or that act. You do the same acts that are just as much an abomination by the same abominations. So, um... And while we're going to teach Jesus and mercy, let's, let's reflect on what Jesus said. Because a lot of people sit there and uh, misinterpret this, by the way, like you're, you're misinterpreting everything of Jesus' words. Uh, I cut off the last part, okay, and it says, but if, Jesus said, but if you had known what this means, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. They have always cut that off, okay, and I've posted this verse before in the past, when they sit there and try to do that before. And it says, you would not have condemned the guiltless. And that's what you are doing. You're condemning the guiltless. So there is no mercy by you. You claim mercy when you want your evil justified. Nowhere in, by the word of God or in Christianity, uh, um, under the authority um, of the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the son of the one and only living God, not your false God. You worship the devil. All right? That's what you do. Jesus speaks against those who condemn the guiltless, as you all have been doing to me. I haven't committed crimes against you. You falsely accuse me of what you're doing, continuously scapegoating me. I don't practice the evils that you practice. And what it is to love my enemies is know that no matter who you are, you deserve what is right. That is your rights. And the only thing that is your rights is what is right. But you don't desire righteousness because you are unbelievers. Falsely claiming to be Christian. You're cowards. You're liars. You're hypocrites. I don't practice a lawlessness. I'm not a criminal. But you scapegoat me and want to make me out to be the criminal that you are. Jesus quotes from Hosea 6, uh, 6 through 7, where it says, For I desire mercy and not sacrifice, and the knowledge of God more than burnt offerings. Jesus is quoting from Scripture. Which I was condemned for also. They mock me because I quote scripture. And they make up lies and excuses. Say, oh, oh, oh you only can sit there. And, oh, only quote scripture or whatever. That's not faith. And then they sit there. And they go around. Oh, if it's not biblical. When they sit there and speak a lot of things that aren't biblical. Nor of the spirit of God. Of truth or anything. They pervert scripture. And they make excuses. And they make a, uh, their own rules against the laws of God. Against my anointing, by the way. Because you're cowards and you hide in darkness. Because I'm, I'm interpreting scripture rightly against your false interpretation. Your interpretation is not an interpretation. You falsely claim it's an inter interpretation. But you pervert it. And I keep correcting and exposing you. So you persecute me some more. You're so evil you attacked my children. Then you mock me and say I'm, I deserve it because what? Because you deserve evil, and you're not under grace where it's basically, oh, oh yeah, and, and playing this whole, it was just echoed from my persecutor, William Clay, who's echoing the false lie that I heard uh, amongst Pentecostals. Sitting there used, trying to use the cop thing in vain. I've heard that story before. Where they sit there and, and, and claim that, you know, God is going to judge them. Um, as innocent or whatever because they believe in the blood of Jesus. No, the blood of Jesus is on your hands. You have the guilt written on you on the blood uh, on, the, on your hands, on your minds. Jesus spoke against you because of your evils. You are unrepentant. And then when you claim repentance... 
You sit there and your repentance is only that of because you claim Jesus. I have been persecuted by hundreds of people in violence alone. Committing hate crimes against me for being a religious, spiritual Christian. With spiritual, insightful um, spiritual experiences. And while Frank Apollo was trying to pretend... And like, oh, 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 that he has experiences all of a sudden. As I've been correcting him for 15 years. And he has, his insight is, is grown dull. Well, never had it actually. Falsely claimed he's saved. Perverts what salvation is and what saved is. Uh, no, there's no such thing as a saved date. Uh, no, it's not, um, all about, um, your personal time when he sat there and said, Jesus is coming to my heart. When you desired a false Jesus, you desire the justification of your evils and called it Jesus. You prayed to the Antichrist. That's what that is. And, um, so that it would have to be the true Jesus. It would have to be righteousness that you desired. So, I'm going to read the Hosea 6, 6-7. For I desire mercy, not sacrifice, and the knowledge of God more than burnt offerings. And you're sitting there who condemned me for the knowledge of God. Perverting our scriptures. Now then, so, all of a sudden, pretending you're, you're like, oh, defending um, knowledge of God. Quoting scriptures and going through and still condemning and slandering me. Claiming law, still condemning and slandering me. Persecuting me. Claiming I'm not of God, uh, but yet you're taking from me that I spoke against you. Pretending that you have compassion for um, those who are oppressed. And evidence of that is grievances, depression, and anxiety. Just like Jesus suffered. Which is human. See, you don't know oppression. Because, you know, the door, the, like you said, yeah, the door's open for you, and you said that makes you Christian. But you're persecuting me for the truth. Claiming I am stricken by God. Um... You have your own rules that are not of Jesus. Not Christian, falsely claiming they're of Jesus. They are not. Um, they claim unconditional love to sit there and justify your own evils. That's not love. They sit there and ignore anybody who speaks against and rebukes your evil. Just like Jesus spoke against and rebuked the evil of the Pharisees who are just like you. Um, Jesus didn't rebuke the Pharisees for keeping the law. He rebuked the Pharisees for their false interpretations, their oppressions against other people, and not being of mercy, grace, and faith, and, I'm sorry, while well, it says justice, mercy, and faith, and you pervert what mercy is. You slander God, you slander the Ten Commandments, Jesus didn't come to... Jesus did not abolish the law. And, uh... So... I'm gonna... I'm gonna, um... I'm gonna do a part two because this is... My video's cutting off. Um, uh, this was happening, so...